All right. Well, um, we are going to talk about um, Santa Claus. We're going to be talking about Santa Claus today in this video. And I'm going to be talking about why you should not teach your kids, your children, the tradition of Santa Claus. Why I would recommend not teaching this to any child. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. The reason why I don't like Santa Claus is basically, it all boils down to one thing, okay? The reason why I am against the teaching of Santa Claus to children, to anyone, is for one main reason. And you know what that reason is? It's because Santa Claus is a fictional character. This is fiction. He is not a real person. I mean, of course, your, your parents could always dress up as Santa Claus, Mr. and Mrs. Claus, okay? Your dad could dress up as, uh, a father could dress up as Santa Claus. So you might say, okay, Santa Claus is real in the sense that it's really your father or it's really your parents. So... Santa Claus is real in the sense that it's your parents or anybody pretending to be Santa Claus. But the reality is, is that Santa, the character Santa Claus, not including your parents dressing up, this character is a fictional character. And this is something that's basically, it's, it's, it's just, it's just not true. And just think, um... Just think about that. Why would you ever want to teach your children something that's not true? What, because it's fun? What, because it's fun when you're a kid? Because it's, 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 it's a fun, it's, a, it's like a magical time? It's a fun, magical time where, where you get presents? What, that... I mean, I mean, is that is that why everybody does it? Because it's it's supposed to bring everyone closer together. <sighs> I don't like Santa because it's not true, plain and simple. By teaching your children, the by doing the tradition of Santa Claus, by teaching your children about Santa Claus, by by participating in this tradition. You're, 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 you're teaching your children something that's not true. It, 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 and I believe that's fundamentally wrong. You might say that it's a little white lie or something like that. But still, it's wrong. It's wrong to lie to people, especially your family. And it might seem like a really nice idea or something fun, something cute, when your children are young. But just think that the lessons that you teach your children when they're young, they, those children are one day going to turn into adults. And you want to give your children an excellent foundation when they're young so that they have that foundation when they're older. If you teach them a bunch of garbage when they're young, they might just grow up believing in a bunch of garbage still. Just think if school systems operated with this logic, okay? Um, so with Santa, okay, by participating in this, you're teaching your children something that's completely something that's completely false, something that's completely fake. Just think if school did that. What if when you went to school, they just taught you a bunch of fake stuff? I bet you'd be pretty mad when you finally figured out that, something, that it's all fake. I'm sure parents would be outraged if they heard that their children were learning a bunch of stuff that was just garbage when they went to school. Seriously, think about it. Just think if you sent your little kids off to school and they came home and they believed in witches and, and that mummies were real and they could walk, they could, they could get out of their tombs and walk, mummies, and that werewolves were real. And all kinds of other ridiculous fictional characters. Or just teach them other stuff that's, that's not true as well. 
teach them stuff, T teach them, teach them that <laughs> you can make up anything. People would be outraged if schools taught children things that were false. But look at us, look at ourselves. We are the ones that are teaching our children this ridiculous idea. And I don't like it. Some people think that, oh, well, the kids eventually figure it out, so, you know, no harm done. But I'm willing to think, and I'm willing to bet, that you could actually potentially be doing lots of harm and damage to your children, even though you may not be trying to. And what I mean by that is, if you teach children that magic is possible, if you teach them that that miracles can happen, that Santa can perform these miracles and, and travel around the world and deliver everyone's presents. If you teach children these ideas and they buy into it and, the, and, the, and they go by that logic, then as, the, as when they get older, they might use that same logic for other things. So for example, Say you teach a kid that magic can happen. Santa's real. Magical things happen. All of a sudden, that adult, that an adult is now having to pay bills and they, they have a house. And let's just think that, let's just say that they think that magic happens. They don't have to pay their bills. And they get into debt and have to file bankruptcy. You don't think that's ever happened? Or people... They just stop paying stuff and they think that magic's going to happen. It's a possibility. You want your children to be intelligent. You want your children to be rational. You don't want to teach your children garbage. Don't teach them something that's not true. What a mean thing to do. I mean, in a sense, you're almost just screwing over your children. And the foundation that you give your children, they take that with them pretty much for the rest of their life. Children are very vulnerable to, to, um, to ideas. When they're young, they simply accept things. You, you, can, you could tell a kid anything when they're a kid, and they'll, they'll accept it. And the reason why they accept it is because they know nothing else to go off of besides what you're telling them. They don't have years of experience. And sometimes they don't have the mental uh, capabilities of an adult yet. And so, and so they just accept things. Children just accept things. And so Santa is really just... <laughs> Santa, in a sense, is just a mean trick that, you're, that, that, is being, that is being given to all of these children all over. All, all over. Anybody that's participating in this tradition... It's just a mean trick. And although it brings joy and, and fun while participating in this, I think that there are long-term side effects that are very damaging. Don't teach your children that magic is possible. Don't teach your children um, that the world works in these, in these magical ways. Because they will grow up thinking that the world still works in these magical ways. When a child is developing, it's really important that you give them a good foundation. You don't want to give them a foundation that's based on bullshit and garbage. I mean, god damn. I mean, seriously, think about it. Think, think about it as an adult. Think about it as a parent. You really want to teach your kids a bunch of shit. God damn it. You don't. I don't care how fun it is. If you want to give somebody presents, if you want to give your children presents on a certain day, okay, and if you want to put a tree in your house for tradition's sake, I have no problem with that, okay? Give your, give, give your children presents, okay? Put a tree in your house. Have a fun time. But don't say that there's a magical person that's doing it. That's irrational. Do not teach your children irrational ideas and beliefs. It'll hurt them. It can hurt them. You're misguiding them on purpose. 
Just think about the kid that actually takes it seriously. And you're just setting them up for a big heartbreak when they find out that it's not real. All that joy, all that happiness, it comes to a big crashing in. Think about kids that actually take Santa really seriously. I mean, seriously. T just think about that kid that really believes in Santa. And then he finds out that it's all fake and he gets really mad. What a horrible thing to do to a kid, let alone your own kids. I say don't teach it. I say don't teach, don't teach Santa. Teach something better. Teach your children something that's real. Teach them about history. Teach them about science. Teach them about facts. Teach them something better than this. This is a bunch of crap. And we all do it. Not, not everybody. Not everybody does this. But a lot of people do this. And it's the biggest bullshit ever. Don't continue this tradition. You can give presents, you, you, can, you can do the tree, you can do the lights, but don't teach shit that's not true. That's fucked up. And I bet you your children don't appreciate it, especially when they figure out that it's not real. I bet you, just, just, just look up on YouTube children's reactions when you tell them that Santa is not true. And look at their faces. And tell me that you want that to happen. Because by teaching this practice, that's what happens. Kids cry. Yeah, look that up on YouTube. Look up some kid getting his heart literally broken that he realizes that Santa is fake. I say don't practice this. I advise against it. If I ever have a family, if I ever have kids, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to say, okay kids, I'm going to give you a bunch of presents and these are from me. And by the way, everyone else, not, not everyone, but I'm going to say all of your friends, pretty much. Yeah, all their parents are lying to them, and this is just big and fake. This is just a big fake. But I'm going to tell you the real truth, and so hopefully you're a rational and intelligent kid. And all your friends are freaking retarded because their parents are, parents <laughs> are dumbing them down by teaching them a bunch of hocus pocus. You want your children to be as smart and as educated as they physically possibly can. How are you going to teach your children to be smart and educated when you're teaching them a bunch of rubbish? Seriously, it goes against, it, it's counterproductive. S Santa Claus, unfortunately, as much joy as he brings, it's counterproductive. And I believe it messes up children psychologically. Because they're, they're given a foundation that's based on magic. And the world does not operate in this fashion. So I advise against this. I, I, I think that this should be something that needs to be abandoned. Give your, give your kids something better than this. Give, give your kids the gift of knowledge. Give your kids the gift of critical thinking. Seriously. Teach your kids to be critical thinkers. Is there a day on the year, on the calendar year, that's called Critical Thinking Day? And you teach that to your children? Oh, but, oh, but, but thinking's not fun, right? Because you have to use your brain. So I'd rather, we would rather just be stupid and ignorant and laugh, basically laugh at our own stupidity, than to actually think. Pisses me off. Really pisses me off. There should be a day that's called Critical Thinking Day, not Santa Claus Day. Might as well just be called Stupid Day. I, I, I believe that this does more harm than good. You're screwing kids over at an early age, giving, a, giving them a foundation that's, that's just a bunch of garbage. And that's, what, and that's what they learn. They learn just a bunch of garbage. It's pathetic. It's an embar and it's embarrassing. Don't don't practice this. Do not practice this tradition. You can have the tree, you can have the lights, but do not do not have you can have the presents, but do not teach about this character that this character is responsible for everything because it's nothing more than a lie. Don't do it.